Good morning, church family. Today is June the 15th, and we are halfway through the year 2020. What an amazing year it's been so far, and who knows what is left to come in the future. But today we want to talk about building character. And in 2 Peter, the first chapter, and starting in the third verse, Peter says this about God and character. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises so that through them we may participate in the divine nature, having escaped the corruption of the world because of evil desires. For this very reason, Make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. If you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You ever think about being ineffective and unproductive? You know, as we go through trying to be better than what we are now, to build our character, it becomes work, sometimes even drudgery, just a tedious work that just just bogs down sometimes. Sometimes we feel like that we're not doing anything. That's very important. That we're just going through the motions and we slow down. But in Peter, he is telling us how to add to your faith, how to participate with God in a divine, his divine nature. So as we go through these things, we need to understand that everything we do, no matter how small, no matter how insignificant it seems to us, it's in God's control. And he's building us through the things that we do as long as we are doing them through his guidance and doing all these things in perseverance and goodness to develop ourselves or develop our character, which is something you're not born with. It's something that you develop yourself. And there are going to be times when it's just pure drudgery. What you're doing seems to be tedious and mundane. There went Barbara. And uh, so you need to concentrate on how to get through the drudgery and know that everything you do, no matter how small, because we all look for the big deal. We look for the big events that we want to be involved in, the things that really are big splashes. Well, even the most smallest thing you do today should be done with God in mind and knowing that he is involved in everything you do, no matter how small. Read Second Peter. Look at those verses, 2 through 7. And see how you are developing your character. Even in the small things, the smallest things you do. You're developing the character that God wants you to have. Pray for our family. Pray for those who need healing, who need encouragement, and those who are mourning loss. Keep on praying. Keep on doing the mundane little things because they lead to the Lord and what he wants us to do in the big things. Have a great day.